Hello, welcome back. In our previous video, we had solved questions up to 7. In today's video, let us solve few more questions. Here, we need to multiply 2534 by 23. So, we will write 2534 by 23. First, we will multiply 2534 into 3 ones. So, here... 3 ones, we will start multiplying from 1s, 4 ones, next we will move to 3 tens, then 5 ones, uh, 5 hundreds, and then 2 thousands. So, 3 4 times will be 12, 1 carry, 3 3 times will be 9 plus 1, 10 0, 1 carry, 3 5 times is 15 plus 1, 16, 6, 1 carry, and 3 2 times is 6, 6 plus 1, 7. So, when we multiply 2534 we into 3, we will get the product as 7602. Now, we have to multiply with 2 tens, right? So, here 1's place we leave as blank and then go on multiplying. 2 4 times is 8, 2 3 times is 6 and 2 5 times is 10, 0, 1 carry. 2 2 times is 4 plus 1, 5. Now, we will have to add both the products. So, here 2 plus 2 and plus is 2 itself. 0 plus 8 is 8. 6 plus 6 is 12. 1 carry. 7 plus 1, 8. 5 and nothing, 5 itself. So, the product of 2534 into 23 is 58,282. Next question, multiply 1250 by 342. Here are three digits with which we will have to multiply 1250. Similarly, 1250 into 342. First, we will multiply 1250 with 2, then with 4, then with 3. So, first we will let us find out what is 1250 into 2. 2 0 times is 0. 2 5 times is 10, 0 and 1 carry. 2 2 times is 4 plus 1, 5. 2 1 time is 2 itself. Next, 4 0 times is again 0 but as it 4 is in 10's place, we have to leave the 1's place empty. And 4 0 times is 0, we will write 0. 4 5 times is 20. So, 0 here and 2 has to be carried. For 2 times is 8. 8 plus 2 is 10. 0 here and 1 carry. 4 1 time is 4 plus 1, 5. Next, we have to multiply 1250 with 3. That is 100's place. So, 1's place has to be empty. 10's place has to be empty. We will write in 100's place. 3, 0 times is 0. 3, 5 times is 15, 5 here, 1 carry, 3, 2 times is 6, 6 plus 1, 7, 3, 1 time is 3. Be careful while carrying, you should be careful, you have to add the carried number. Now let us multiply all the products, so 0 and nothing is 0 itself, again 0 and nothing is 0 itself. 5 and nothing 0 is 5 itself. 5 plus 2 is 7. 7 plus 5 is 12. 1 carry. 3 plus 1, 4. So the product of 1250 into 342 is 4,27,500. Next, divide 324 by 12. So, here we will write 324 inside the division bar as it is dividend and 12 is the divisor we will write outside the division bar and here 12 is greater than 3. So, we cannot consider one digit here. We will have to consider two digits that is 32. So, here 12 2 times is 24. 12, 3 times will be 36 which is more than 32. So, we will consider 12, 2 times 24. 
from 2 we cannot take away 4. So, we will have to borrow from 3. 3 becomes 2 and 2 becomes 12. 12 minus 4 is 8 and 2 minus 2 is 0. Next, we need to bring down 4 from dividend. So, we will write 4 here. We have 84 and 12, 7 times is 84. 85, 84 minus 84 is 0. So, here the quotient is 27 and the remainder is 0. Next question, divide 4566 by 15. Again, 4566 will write inside the division bar and 15 outside the division bar. 15 1 time is 15, 15 2 times is 30, 15 3 times is 45. 5 minus 5 is 0, 4 minus 4 is 0. Bring down the 6 as 6 is lesser than 15. We will write 0 in the quotient's place and bring down 6. 15, 4 times is 60. 6 minus 0, 6 itself. 6 minus 6, 0. Here the quotient is 3 not 4 and the remainder is 6. Next question. Solve story sums. How many trunks will be required to pack 1152 shirts if each trunk can hold 12 shirts? Here are 1152 shirts which needs to be packed in trunks but one trunk can hold only 12 shirts. So, we will have to find out how many trunks are required to pack 1152 shirts. Here in solution. Number of shirts, number of shirts equals 1152. Number of shirts in each trunk, in each trunk equals 12. Number of trunks we will have to find out, right? Number of trunks. So, here 1152 shirts divided by 12 shirts in each trunk. We will have to find out. Divided by 12. 12 one times if we do also it will be more than 11. So, we will have to consider 3 digits here. So, 12 9 times will be 108. So, from 15 we can 5 we cannot take away 8. So, we will have to borrow and make it 15. 0, 15. 15 minus 8 is 7. 0 minus 0, 0. 1 minus 1, 0. Bring down 2. Now, we have 72. 12, 6 times is 72. 72 minus 72 is 0. Here, so how many trunks will be required to fill in 1152 shirts? 96 trunks will be required to fill in 1152 shirts. Students, I hope the video was useful for your practice. Thanks for watching. Keep supporting.